What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the farm. So I am back here in the sugar shop tonight. I have got the RO plugging away and I was working on getting some stuff cleaned up and getting some concentrate and some permeate moved around. And I thought I should take some time to go ahead and shoot a quick little video because I've had quite a few people ask me about this setup when we've seen it in the background of other videos. So I'm gonna show you guys our little pump system that we have that allows us to get our permeate pumped across the shop over to our big 55 gallon collection drums back here by the sink and how we get our concentrate from the RO all the way around the shop over to the walk-in cooler without having to carry it, no manual labor. So over here right now, we've got three vats going on. This is permeate water. So that is the distilled water coming out of the other side of the RO. We have this concentrated sap. This has been getting worked on for quite some time now, maybe about I don't know, eight or 10 hours this has on it. And you can see this is getting pretty concentrated. This is almost at 7%. So gonna go ahead and get this vat pumped over to the cooler. And then this is some of today's sap. So we'll get the RO going on this and we will let that run most of overnight. So this is the muscle of our operation. This is a diaphragm pump that I found on Amazon. I will put a link down in the description. The reason I chose this pump is it is also heat rated. It is suggested as an inline pump for like a hot water system. Um, the reason we wanted something that is heat rated is because especially when we are pumping our sap concentrate up through these lines, when it comes to end of the season cleaning and end of the season flushing, even in season flushing, we wanna be able to send hot water through all of these lines to be able to clean and disinfect. Because I'm sure as all of you sugar, sugar veterans know, this stuff will mold and it will mold like that. So gotta make sure we thought out a way, how are we gonna be able to clean and flush our lines? Like I said, that go from over here with that concentrated sap all the way over to the cooler. So we made sure that we did a heat rated pump and this one also is self priming. So we don't have to worry about trying to get prime on it. It will go ahead and get the, get the water going all by itself because it's self priming. One thing we did go a little bit overkill with is we did lots of valving so we could isolate. So we have a valve on our main coming out of the pump. So we have our intake side. We just have a flexible hose on here so we can get to whichever drum it is we need to get to. We come up, this came with this nice little filter. I kind of like that. So we included that. With it, we come across the pump, we get here. One thing I really like about this pump is it's pressure sensitive. So right now it's plugged in. As soon as I open this valve, it knows to turn on. We're labeled here. We are sending sap concentrate up through the ceiling. Across here, we shoot across around the backside of the boiler. through the wall of the walk-in. Into our collection barrels here inside of the walk-in. And as you can see, we have our cool bot is up and running. Right now it's 37 degrees in here. Um, our cool bot is what allows us to hack this air conditioner to turn an air conditioner into the refrigeration system for our walk-in cooler. So I will put a little a little tag up here on the CoolBot slash walk-in cooler videos. And then we're valved in here as well. So of course got the first one open right now. We will fill this one when this one's full. We're able to just close that valve, open up the next one, open up the next one. Have never had call for a full 90 gallons of concentrate before. So this is plenty of storage for us at the level that we work at. And then of course we're not boiling tonight, so we're not gonna be able to show you. But then we have another pump here inside the cooler. This is just a little, tiny little 12 volt low output pump. We have it plumbed in to this here. It goes up this copper line out of the cooler wall back across the ceiling, 
down around the chimney pipe and it fills our pre-warmer. So we can go straight from the cooler to the pre-warmer and we don't have to carry any of that either. And while the concentrate is working its way around, I'll go ahead and show you our little sink station. So I will show you over there. I showed you over there. We also have another valve for our permeate water. When we open that valve, it comes across the ceiling and follows the same route. And then it comes down and we come to our 255 gallon drums. So whichever one we're trying to fill up, we have valves here again, can open and close these valves depending on which tank we need to fill up. And then here I just have, this is a cheap little like $20 Harbor Freight transfer pump. It's also self priming, but it is noisy, unfortunately. So we just have two little PEX connections. Got the one here right now, we're working out of this barrel. When I wanna work out of that barrel over there, it's just a simple unscrew this. That one gets screwed on there. And then this is plumbed over to our sink. We just have it on a light switch. That gives us water at our sink. You can hear how noisy it is. And then we also have it plumbed over to, we have this little six foot, um, you know, this is like the kind of thing you use on like your wash machine, like supply line hose. And we have this on a valve as well. So we can open this valve here and we have water directly at our tray for when we need to clean our tray out or fill a bucket or do whatever we might need to do. So it's nice to have that connected up right here next to the arch. So we have water to get over to the arch when we need it there also. Say hi, Brisky. So as you can see, it really is not a super complex system. It's nothing but uh, PEX connections and a few, vol a few ball valves. This pump, I believe, was $69 on Amazon. This was the most expensive piece in the system, the RO aside. But just for the transfer system, that was about $69, if I remember correctly, on Amazon. Uh, it's nice because, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it is much quieter than those Harbor Freight transfer pumps but it also is heat rated, so we are able to pump hot water through it for sanitation and that kind of stuff. So that was made, that made it worth it to spend a little bit more money. And it has a pretty good flow rate. I mean, we've moved almost probably 25 gallons of sap in uh, not quite 10 minutes yet. So quick little video for you guys tonight. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, think about hitting that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, y'all, we will see you.